Hey y'all. So it's pool maintenance time. Pool has been covered, but as y'all can see, it's still bugs and stuff that got in it. And it is filled like really high because it's been raining. But the pool cover's been on it, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna clean it. I just wanted to give y'all a little view of it. I know some of y'all like uh, my pool maintenance. So, here we go. Let me just try not, it's still nice and clear because I make sure I have the filter on, but I have to get those bugs that's at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see them because we will be having a pool party soon. I gotta put the chlorine in it. More chlorine red because there's already chlorine in it. I don't know how much y'all can see, but y'all see I'm trying so hard not to take the pool cover fully off. I'm trying to maneuver things around and just clean around it because the pool cover is work when it's just me by myself. So just watch.
almost done cleaning it. I have to put some of this in it. Got it from Amazon. Y'all can see. And then some of this. Got this from Walmart. And they sold it at Amazon as well. Works great. Keeps the pool clear and um, clean. You put this stuff in here once a week. And this one also once a week. So I have to buy more of this. I just bought this. Haven't been open yet. And also, um, what else? What else? I want to vacuum my pool, but when I vacuum it, it's by the holes and it adds more water. My pool is still to capacity right now because it was raining. The pool cover was on it and it's still somehow um, filled up. So I can't do that because it's going to make the pool overflow. I can take some water out, but I don't want to do that either. So what I'm doing is vacuuming it basically without the vacuum on. And the debris that's at the bottom is coming to the top. And when it comes to the top, I get it with the net. So it's working out good. So. So y'all, it's working pretty good, but the cons about having a swimming pool is bugs. <laughs> Water is like a bug magnet, and having a swimming pool is like a bug magnet. You want to clean out, but no matter how much your pool, how much um, you clean your pool or how clean your pool is, it's going to be bugs. Even when you're in the pool, you're going to be flicking bugs, trying to get bugs out. That is the con, but the pool maintenance is work. I mean, the luxury of having a pool is excellent, but pool maintenance so I can't even imagine people that have in ground pools or above ground pools that's bigger than this I wouldn't be able to do it because they had a bigger one than this but it was sold out and I was going to get it if it was um, available at the time I'm glad I didn't this pool is perfect um so now I'm looking for <laughs> the uh what is called the pool float the um chlorine floater I'm looking for that it's under the pool cover somewhere I'm managing to clean it without because what I want to do is just pull the pool cover back so it can just lay flat so I won't have to take it off completely so it'll just directly the water will guide me to pull it just how I had it before I don't want to take it off and then figure out which side is which and all that 
that's work, but um, I'm doing it the lazy way out, but I'm getting all of the debris that's under it and make sure that everything is clean and clear. But that chlorine floater, I believe, is under the pool um, cover. I have to get it so I can put the chlorine in there, the um, tablets, so I can put it in there. But, um, yeah, I haven't been out here to clean it in two days, and I didn't turn the pool filter on yesterday. They say run it every day, but just by me not putting the filter on yesterday is more bugs than usual, so I'll make sure I don't do that. Turn that filter on every day and let it run. And uh, another thing is wherever the debris at, try to push it towards the filter so the filter can get it, like get it from the bottom and let it surface to the top. Get as much as you can with the net and let the filter do the rest. Shoot, y'all, I'm learning as I go. This is the purifier. This keeps it from turning green, keeps it um, blue, because that's my worst fear of my water turning green. Once it turned green, you can get it to blue again, but that's work, like, doing it. Nobody wants that. I know one guy on YouTube, well, someone said that their grandfather, he didn't, he didn't never have to, he cleaned his pool so well that he didn't have to change the water until four years or something. I'm like, wow. I don't know how because when it winter comes, this water has to come out. I can't. It's going to freeze. I don't know how he did that, unless they lived in a hot climate. Ah, oh, y'all. I hope I'm not boring, y'all. But here we go. I use over half because I haven't used this in a good minute and I shouldn't have got it on my hands like that I have to make sure I wash my hands and don't touch my face that's one thing make sure when you're using this chlorine stuff do not touch your face wash your hands dip your hand in the pool if you have to Okay, y'all, so the last step I have to do is I'm going to do another uh, sweep through with the brush to get the debris up from the bottom. It's not much um, left. And then get the net and get it out. And if, I don't know if y'all know this, but I almost touched my face. They have to say, <laughs> it's just a habit. Because my eye was just itching. I almost did it. But I put my hands in the water um, and I wash my hands as soon as I get in the house. Also, um, I had to get the chlorine floater to put the tablets in. But what else was I was about to say? Um... I just was about to say it and then I forgot. I'm going to show y'all how it look after, but what I was about to say. Um, oh, you want to swish it around. When you put the chlorine and stuff in, get something to move it around so it just won't be in one spot and you want to go around the pool. They say not to put the uh, chlorine and stuff close to the filter. You want to go past the filter, but I just go all the way around. It works for me.
And y'all, as I'm cleaning it, <laughs> bugs that's alive just crawling around like the rim of the pool. Like you can't get away from the bugs no matter how much you try. They they not scared of this chlorine. They don't care if uh they get in the pool with the chlorine. They don't care about this chlorine. <laughs> but I do have insect uh repellent and all that, but we're out in the wilderness right now. It really looks like I'm in the woods. If you see all this uh, in front of me, it looks like the woods. So it's going to be bugs. I won't be surprised if I see a deer because it do be uh, deers back here. And what else? Uh, possums and uh, raccoons. So I wouldn't be shocked. And also, uh, if I can, one day I might show y'all how I changed the filter. That is work. Now the filter is work. And also to note with these kind of pools the these uh filters aren't built for these kind of pools it's better to have a sand filter or a, a sturdier filter because these filters aren't built to manage these pools but i do have another filter extra one so someone told me that i can uh put them both together and make so it can do both both um more work basically <laughs> so it can do twice as the work that the one filter is doing so i'm gonna try to do that because whoo this filter is working hard for this big pool and all this water this is gallons and gallons of water and the pool is four feet so if you're four feet it probably be i don't know where it comes but it's four feet it comes right here to me but when you're sitting down it's over my head because i'm five foot three so if you're four feet just put it in mind it's deep you probably can't see how deep it is but that pool is deep also what else oh i'm in like cahoots with allstate that's the insurance i have allstate uh uh warranty for the pool allstate and what else is it it's something else i forgot the name of it allstate anywho i've been going back and forth with them for a month they can't find my warranty for some reason i have a four-year warranty and i want to ask them about the filter it's not working properly properly like um like it should and I have a warranty so they can replace it or do whatever they need to do, but they can't find it. And they've been going back and forth. I have to send them, email them the receipt. I did that. Screenshot this. I did that. They keep on telling me to do the same thing over and over again. I called. They said they can't help me because the people that you talk to uh, online, they have to help you first, but they're not helping me. So somebody's going to do something or they're going to refund me my money. I didn't pay for that warranty for nothing. So, and it's my first time ever using a warranty. I just started using a pool this year. So had the warranty for a year now and it's a four-year warranty four-year warranty and i haven't had any help yet it's all state oh square trade square trade all state that's the warranty i had so it's it's a lot it's a lot and i purchased the pool from walmart.com this pool right now is retailing for like eighteen hundred dollars uh the sale price is probably like 800 and something well, 900 now but they're all sold out but i paid for this pool 300 plus with the warranty like 400 and something dollars without the warranty it was like 300 or something and that is a still for a pool like this a pool like this retails 1400 uh 1800 like because it's oval it's an oval shaped pool it's like it looks like an in-ground pool like if you wanted to dig a hole you probably can put this pool i've seen people do it but they usually get the square ones or the rectangular ones but um yeah this pool is worth a lot of money so if I was to sell this pool, you damn right, I'm going to sell it for a higher price. I'm not selling my pool, <laughs> but I'll be back. Y'all, look what I found. I found it. It was under the pool cover. It's always hot and under there for some reason. But it's so much easier now because shout out to my mom's friend, Smiley. She gave me some tips on this, and she made it so easier, easy to put in and close. Wait, I think I put too much in. I might have spoke too soon. Right? Yeah, I put too much. See, the thing is, I was putting too much in... The chlorine tablets I have are too big for this floater, so I just crunch it up, but I was putting too much in there. She said, look at it before I put it in. It can't be next to the part that closed, so let me move some, maneuver some around. And I don't know if y'all can see, but that's how it looks. It's the chlorine tablets inside. If y'all want, like, uh, weekly videos like this, let me know, because I'm always out here. I haven't been out here as much, but it's going to be a heat wave, y'all. Can y'all believe it here? So I will be in my pool all week, and then the party is 
two weeks from now. Less than two weeks from now. So. Ooh, okay. It's one big one in it. So now, just close. Y'all remember how hard it used to be? Just close it. You got to make sure that this part is locked. And then these have to be open so it can dispense the chlorine off. And you close it and then you open it. But you have to make sure that the dispenser is locked. So yeah, it's perfect. Okay, I'm about to put it in here and I'm gonna show y'all the pool. Oh, also I just checked my filter. Like I put my hand inside the uh, pool just to see the flow of it and it wasn't flowing. So I went to the filter and look at me and let some air out. You gotta let that air out. And if it was flowing more, it was flowing better, but it's still not flowing like it should. That's why I'm trying to get in touch with the darn warranty people. And um, when we changed the filter, um, me and my mom friend Smiley, well, she's basically family. So um, I didn't let the air out. She said I didn't have to, but I know I'm supposed to let that air out. And I didn't let it out. I should have let it out. So all this time, the air has been trapped in here. So I let it out, and it was so much air. It's still air that can come out. So what's supposed to happen is I believe the air is supposed to come out first, and then a little bit of water. Water didn't come out, so maybe I should let the water come out some, and then maybe it'll flow better. And y'all, it's about to rain. It looks like it's about to rain. And then this pool really going to overflow as it rains. That's why they say you should never fill it to the top because you have to leave room for rain and uh, whatever else. Maintenance. Okay, y'all, so I just have to do one more brush through over this side and <laughs> get the nut and get it out. And then I'm going to show y'all the pool, put the pool cover back on. And then whatever I miss where the pool cover was on, I'm going to lift it up. It'll be easier to lift it up once this side of it is on. As long as one side is on, it's good. Uh, that's how you do it, like in increments. Don't overwork yourself. Try to do it a little bit at a time. And what else? What else? What else? Yeah, I'm going to have to call the people back because I just checked the flow. It's not flowing 
good at all. It usually flow like a lot. The flow is not, and I just changed the filter so it's not there. Okay, y'all. I'm about that. I'm about to show y'all the pool, but my back is killing me now because I'm struggling with this damn ugly thing. I got this from Amazon. First of all, it's not supposed to be black. It's supposed to be blue. And this is supposed to extend so you won't have to bend over. You can just work with it and it's supposed to go long as the pool. 
false advertisement. It does not. So Amazon refunded me and they said just keep it or throw it in the trash. It works good, the brush, but it's killing my back because I got a breach and I'm short. My arms is not long. So it's a good brush, but uh, false Okay, y'all, I don't know if it look different to y'all, but it's much clearer, much bluer, like how it usually be. It was a little uh, foggy from the dust and the dirt earlier, but not, uh, kind of dirty, but not dirty from, like people being in it is dirty from debris, because no one have been in it, it's been cold. And I did the chlorine treatments the last time we were in it, and I'm doing it today, clean it. I take very pride in this, very much pride in this pool. Because if you neglect your pool and let it get dirty, it's much more work than what I'm doing. And I've been out here for an hour or more. And just imagine if the pool was green and really dirty. I would have been out here for like five or six hours or probably had to come back the next day. So I have to move the pool floats over here, put the pool cover on, and uh, work a little on that side, even though it's not much. So, y'all see my little pineapple floating? That's a cup holder where I can put my Bluetooth speaker in it. But yeah, this pool is work, y'all. So, I'll be back. I'm gonna just take this out. I don't know how we got left in there because all the rest of the float was out. Let's put it over here. Now, y'all saw how easy that was. Just imagine if I took the whole pool cover off. It would have been worked. So now I'm going to flip it. Now that the water not weighing it down that's on top of the pool cover, I'm going to flip it. And I have a device to get that water off the top, but I'm not doing all that today. I'm going to flip it and uh, clean whatever I missed over here.
Okay, y'all. So on that side it was basically nothing. It's usually sand because that's where we get it. That's where we get in it with the ladder and it's sand right there. So. I had to figure out how uh, the clips go. I had to look in, at the tablecloths on the table and see how my mom had them. So let me switch these. Okay, y'all, that's it. So. Y'all know I use this net. This works really good. It's very deep. And what I do is before I, I dump it, but I dry it out. Let the sun dry it out. That way when I dump it, the bugs just fall off. But when it's wet, it's hard to get them out. And sometimes they still be alive. I don't feel like pulling everything out, but y'all see that this long tool right here. So this is the pool vacuum. So I hooked this to the holes, the water holes. Got it from Amazon. It works great. And that net, all the dirt, debris, bugs, everything sucks up. But the only thing about it is, once you uh, start it up, it's filling up the pool too. And my pool is filled to capacity. So I wasn't gonna do that because it would over, um, overflow. I could have took more wood out, but I don't wanna take wood out. So I did what I had to do. I did more work, but. And then I have another net. This net is just for like the light stuff, like little leaves or maybe bugs too. They come up, but it's not like a deep net like the one I have. I'm sweating. I feel like I want to get in the pool. Yeah, this is the holes that I use to, I have a separate water hose for filling up the pool. Then this hose is to drain uh, the pool, which hooks up to, I don't know if y'all can see that device right there from Amazon as well. Not the other thing that's over there that's um, smaller, that's a pool. Um, I mean, not a pool, a uh, float pump. <laughs> the, uh, blow up the uh, floats and stuff but that device right there that's to drain the pool it drains all the water out the pool drains water over the um off the pool cover and it works fast and you just let the water flow uh out into the woods and that's what i hook this up to that and then i have my water holes that i hook up to this to clean the pool to vacuum the pool and fill the pool up and then and this container right here is where I keep the uh, tablets and everything and different stuff. And this is the shock treatment. I use this every week also, but I'm not putting it in there. I'm putting it in next week because it's really strong. I want that strong. And they don't sell that brand. I can't find that brand anymore. And it's strong. So I want that for the party. So I'm going to say that for the party and just use the stuff that I have on hand and buy some more of the Clorox. Uh, chlorine that I showed y'all because I just ran out and the label came off that's just uh Clorox wipes just to uh sanitize but yeah that's most of the stuff I use for my pool and this is what I was talking about I have to get more of Walmart ten dollars a bottle so I have to get more of that so y'all okay y'all one more look through hey. no I had to clean it out yeah, I'm away. It was my neighbor talking to me, but I have the pool cover on. This how it look. The sun is coming out. I probably actually can get it. I'm sweating, but I don't feel like it. 
don't can y'all believe it i don't feel like getting in the pool but no i don't but this is how the brook the bricks i was about to say the brooks the bricks look uh on here i think i'm gonna put this brick right over here ouch Ooh, that hurt my now dang that took my skin off I need to take my ass in the house. I'm just messing up my fingers and take my skin off. Bricks all around. But yeah, this is how the clips look on. And it keeps the uh, pool cover from blowing off because it's been windy lately. I had to put the pool cover on like three times this week because it kept on blowing off. And this is how they look on the um, tablecloth. But let me get in this house. One more look through. This is the ladder. I love my pool.